All across the nation, people are raising their voices. They are concerned about their loved ones and an apparent lack of concern by the people they have sent to Congress to represent them. The NRA claims that there is no support for gun control in this particular Congress. I would invite the NRA to visit the graves of the 20 children in Newton and tell them that. It's very easy to sit in your ivory towers and make decisions that affect everyone else when you're not involved. But what happens when the tables are turned and suddenly it's you? Suddenly it's one of your loved ones that has been gunned down needlessly by some maniac. How will you see that then? You all have children, and I'm certain you love them very much. And the thought of some deranged maniac coming along and murdering them is not something you would even want to consider. To those of you, I would pose this question. If you were standing over the grave of your own child, what would the president of the NRA have to say to you? There is nothing new about men putting a price tag on human life. But to each and every one of you, I would ask you, go home and take a good look at your own children and family and answer this question. What price tag would you put on their lives? Shortly, Congress will be called upon to make probably one of the most important decisions of their careers. The weight of 20 children and six adults, along with the many others needlessly slaughtered by gun violence in this nation, shall weigh upon their decision. What will they decide? Shall they decide what they know is morally correct? Or will they decide with money? Take heed, for indeed the Lord God will be watching on this one, and there will be consequences. Mm -hmm.